And first of all, let's start with the Association for Fair Play and Tolerance in Sport, uh, presented by Milan Hosta, Sportland Institute. Milan, the word is yours. First of all, just a slight difference. Uh, it's not about the Institute of Fair Play, but the Spolint Institute that carries on the activities of that mentioned institute on international level. Uh, I'll try to be short, and uh, as uh, um, Violeta said, uh, yeah, let's shake some bodies as well through the civil society. Once you shake the body, you can also shake the world, the physical environment. Uh, so what we focus on is uh, how to change the um, society or how to make an influence in also in po policy terms through sport and you can do a lot what we did was um, first of all we established a platform which is international one uh, kind of neutral so that means we have the olympic philosophy behind we have many others and we said well let's have some organization that can fit anywhere so it's an open one um, it's as well as think tank, and it, the only bottom line for everyone who is stepping into it is uh, socio-ecological ground floor. So that is the core idea. And we develop a couple of actions. In terms of sustainable development, there is a one called LEPA, that means life-enhancing physical activity. Europe has focused for 10 years now into health-enhancing physical activity, but you don't only gain health through physical activity, but many much more of it. Uh, also, a lot of so social values are in it. Um, it is a global initiative to support efforts for life on planet Earth through physical, respecting the physicality of our lives. Usually, now in these terms of technology, we are neglecting the physicality of our lives. Um, we are now in the process of co combining it or searching for ad adaptation at UNESCO, and then we will go further on to other countries. The other one is plainness, plainness culture. We are all familiar with fitness culture, with, with wellness culture, but we say, hey, come, what about plainness? With plainness, with, with playfulness, we actually start to live as kids, even in the stage of adults. So this is a tool to intervene the market in fitness. So to change them, because fitness is very much automatization of our movements. You sit on the, those machines and you do just one thing. And that's completely uh, the other philosophy. Uh, with plainness, it's also, it's not only for father or a, uh, like fitness for father or mother or a young adult male, which is usually the case in sport. All the big holes I made designed to serve the needs of the young adult males, athletes. But physical activity should be for everyone. So this will be now our new culture in the future. Plainness culture, inco injo is also kind of a playfulness approach towards our lives. And sporticus, it's about diplomacy. It's about multiculturalism. So how can we invite young kids, uh, youth, and and athletes as well who are traveling around the world, but ne neglecting the other side of uh, this athletic competition and stuff. So once they go off to another country, they go to hotel, to the competition, then back home. They don't learn about culture, about language and stuff. So we are uh, intervening with this that if they have budget to travel around and promote this multicultural activities, then they should do them as well. We have this project Sporticus, which is, was translated into other languages as well. It's an acronym, which, and every team can design he, its own meaning. Depends what they want from sport. It's, again, more socially um, directed, not only physical activities. Um, current, what we do is, we did the research in Balkan area right now. We just finished it. Uh, about good practices in sport, how to uh, intervene into, let's say, multi-ethnic environments or post-conflict communities, and also what's the value of NGO in these policy terms between health sector and sports sector. And finally, this is uh, our background. Uh, when we are in sport, we, in fact, cannot think just about sport, because once you are physically and socially active, it affects everything else. Uh, so that, in short, is our work, 
how do we try to intervene with innovative practices, with innovative approaches, connecting as well to initiatives like INCO, uh, to do our share of social responsibility in the world of sport. Thank you. Great, Milan.